Hey everybody, welcome to Neo the Wins with you. We got the girl of I don't know who she is. She's really annoying, kinda. So, we made it to day four. Yep, we sure did. Indeed. Wait, what? Uh, did you not get the memo? You see, the Reapers game goes for seven days, full week, and today marks day four. Did you miss that big broadcast the other day? I didn't, nor did I ask you for an explanation. <laughs> Ouch, that was frosty. So how much do you know about the game? Very little. I met a so-called Reaper who gave a rather extensive exegesis, at which point my cognitive powers began to fail me. Relatable. Was not my only misfortune either. There I was, menu researched, order decided, shop location bookmarked. I had even vowed to retire to my dorm early lest I inadvertently oversleep. Dorm? Like college dorm? Is there any other kind? Nope, not that I'm aware of. She's older than them? I mean, here I was thinking, oh, she's in her Fujoshi phase. Been there before. I mean, obviously it was me and, like, you know, Higurashi and all that crap, but, like, She's an adult. The dumb. I mean, I guess we have Minamoto, who's also older, but that's a surprise. She's older than us? Could have fooled me. I guess they literally did. Based upon your reactions just now, I presume you two to be younger than I? Uh, yeah. Pretty sure. As I suspected. But let that not encumber our interactions. For I am little more than a Lilliputian lover of Alestra. A wretched reviewer of his radiance, Lord Tomonami. From your pins? One and the same. A most astute observation, Lord Rindo. Uh, doesn't he? Yeah, he does look, look like exactly him. like Minami Moto. How didn't I notice that before? Dude, was that him in a past life? Oh man. I see you too have noticed the striking similarities between them. What I wouldn't give to bask in his sublimity once more. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's a pretty cool guy. Speaking of, when might his lordship be returning? Hopefully sooner rather than later. I know Kanan thinks we can use the help, but is this girl really going to do much for us? The only game she seems to care about is the one on her phone. <sighs> this sucks. I mean, I doubt she'll drag us down to last place. But I don't want to think about what will happen to us if she does. <laughs> Looks like we got a message. Yo! Dude, what the hi there? What's going on, Wicked Twisters? You're that guy. I got a name, you know. Don't you remember? No, we do. Hard to forget after you shouted it in our ears. <laughs> oh, I like your sense of humor, bro. I like it so much, I'm going to let you discs play a little game with me. And what exactly would that game entail? It's easy. I give you a mission, you complete it. See? Easy. And if you really impress me, then I'll give you some of our points free of charge. Huh? Uh, just like that? <laughs> Why not? This is a trap, bro. How, how cocky can you be? Yeah, I'm going to bet. With no downside. <laughs> like, uh. Your frontier discs. You got nothing but potential. Oh, and that goes for you too, little girl bro. Much obliged. I want to see what sort of move you'll make with a little incentive. Okay, but how big of an incentive are we talking here? Oh, sounds like you're ready to play. Now, I've got to make sure our team stays on top. So I'll set some points aside for us. The rest are yours for the taking. What do you say? That ought to at least keep you out of last place for this week, eh? Hmm, what do you think, Rin, dude? And let me remind you that you discs are in dead last! <sighs> think about it! The week's already half over, and right now you're getting sweat. But with a little help from the Ruin Bringers, who knows? You might even manage to gain a tempo or two and shoot to the top. Long way to go. No venture, no gains, bro. Sure, but who says you can just give us points like that? Us. One of the privileges me and the gang get for winning the last game. You get to do whatever you want? To the victor goes the spoils, including the right to rewrite the rules. So you're basically saying we don't have a choice here. I ain't saying it, just strongly implying it. So what'll it be? I don't know. It sounds fishy, but what do you think? I mean, 
If it'll give us a leg up. Bada boom! So, I've got this buddy, the OG. Upstanding guy, the OG of all trades. Thing is, he's developed a bit of a noise problem, so I need you to erase him for him. And how are we supposed to do that? That ain't my disc to flip, bro. Look for his little helper on Center Street. Take a scan around the board and see what you come up with. Well, your move, White! Room bringer trash fresh from the heap. Hey, Mamina man! We were just talking about you. <laughs> so, apparently, Susukichi has a different game for us to play. He said it'll earn us a lot of points, so... <laughs> Are these Zeptograms the ones that'll finally bring you out of hiding? <laughs> you know, I can't get mad at Nagi. She goes, he goes, heh. I like burst out laughing like, shoot, I'm a, I'm a Minamoto simp too. Guess I'll just have to wait and see. My God, I'm a hypocrite. How dare I? I get we're looking for Ryoji's little helper, but who the heck is Ryoji? How should I know? I haven't the faintest idea myself. I mean, he's a friend of Susie K. We know that much. Which means we're looking for the helper for a friend of some guy we kind of know. Really narrows it down. And now I have a headache. Wonderful. Guess it is a little hard to follow. Indeed. That cast of characters is expanding too rapidly to stay abreast. Guess we'll have to do some digging if we want to know who's who. Well, at least we're meeting lots of new people. Yeah. Ryoji's supposed to be a Ryoji of all trades, right? Mm. Say that like it means something? Like maybe he's some sort of handyman? Man, I'm dying to meet this guy. Uh, well, that makes one of us. All right. Erase Ryoji's noise problem. Gotcha. Side quest. <gasps> oh my god, no, it's the Xenoblade Affinity Chart! <laughs> that's, that's uncanny. Oh lord. Admire your social network. Use the web to follow connections. Oh god. Obtaining social network skills, FP can earn you rewards. Alright. Maybe it's not as tough as the affinity chart. God. Oh wow. It's actually... Okay, so it's not every NPC. So far it's just, you know, shopkeepers in the sort. That's good. Alright, easy difficulty unlock. I don't need that bull crap. HP viewer... Regroup and re-entry. Dude, I need a hard difficulty, bro. Let's get that first. F yeah. You know, upon further inspection, this this is not anything like the affinity chart from Xeno. Wait, what the dump? Ain't that ain't that the bad guy? How's the final boss gonna be on my like social link? I don't mm, -mm Don't like that. But I do like this. HP viewer. Don't mind if I do. I don't know how valuable these totally not hope fragments are, but eh, you know. I intend to do 100 percent as long as it's not anything too difficult. Ah, yeah. You know what? Now that we have the, oh yeah. Now that we have the hard mode, let's, crap. No, let's not crap. Let's test it out. Let's see how this uh, drop chance thing works. I'm feeling a little cocky with my, you know, current setup of pins. Let's, let's turn up the heat, so to speak. Getting a little bit of a, uh, what's it called? Overzealous, I guess. Oh yeah, that's gonna sing. Oh, stop. Oh, yeah, we got Nagi. We got oh, dump. I didn't change her pins. Oh, look at her. She's so adorable. I, I did not honestly, like, think too much about her, like, character design. But now that I'm seeing her, like, in the game, dude, I'm kind of a fan. We're also still taking zero damage just because we're so effing strong. God, come on. Give me a challenge, the world ends with you. Please. Like, legit, I didn't even use Nagi there. Oh, look at her. She's like, I'm going to get you. Eh. Oh no! Get off her! Don't worry! <laughs> your 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 prince will save you, Nagi, apparently. Jesus. Yeah, these wolf enemies. Not a fan. Aw oh, man, I want to stay intentionally low level. Square, why'd you level me up during the boss fight? Alright, a little bit stressful, but yo, yo, we got mad EXP. And we got Gust of Gorgeous. Looks like a mermaid with some really long hair. I want to see what that's about. I also should make sure to get that fire pin off of her. Oh, look at her. She's like, eh. Oh, oh, oh no, don't beat me, please. Oh, no. Sorry, your mandatory party member. Yo, that looks awesome. I guess, yeah, it's like a kick. And dude, look at that range. Even the damage isn't insane. It's still better than what we have. And like, you know, 
having those two be the L L1 and R1 makes a lot of sense. Everything else I'm pretty satisfied with. I think we're doing good. I could mess with this, uh, the bunny thing. But during practice, it didn't seem too, uh, dynamite, as the uh, pin says. So, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right. What the crow were you doing before I got utterly distracted? I don't have to remember. Listen, when I go record a blind series, it's just me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if I want to be friends with him. I just kind of just zone out and, like, you know, let the game take me where it wants, you know? So, like, I don't really have a lot of structure is what I'm getting at. I guess we'll talk to this guy anyways. Oh, I got to say, he did get really, really... The long hair works for him. In however long it's been since the first game. He's kept up with the trends. Admirable. Check it out, Rin, dude. It's the prince! Didn't think we'd see him again so soon. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's he doing? Can we scan him? Can we please? Seems like a severe invasion of privacy. I admit it. I haven't occurred to me to read the thoughts of celebrities. Mm, I do not like that face. Kind of seems like a violation of private. Yeah, I'm on Ren Dude's side. But I'm not the one getting red. I mean, it's not hurting anybody, right? Let's have a look. Can maybe even help him? Memories of soup. Is you buying? Is you buying your clothes at the soup store? What? What is going on? Ah! I remember most of the ingredients, but something's still missing. What could it be? Think, self. Think about how eating made you feel. Eating soup? Did they make a side quest out of effing soup? Are you for real? Mm. Aren't you guys getting a little bit curious about this? I, I, not, I can't say I, I am. I mean, this is the prince. Not the artist formerly known as. Listen, we're talking about him. He's like the foodie king. <laughs> A prince and a king all at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, stop it, Nagi. If he's obsessed with this soup, it's gotta be amazing. It's just soup. <laughs> I could understand ramen. That's a more like, you know, soup is uh, uh, pretty bland for the most part. I'm gonna try jogging his memory. You sure that's a good idea? What if he becomes a soup Nazi? It can't hurt, right? Come on, dude, it'll be fun. Will it? Yeah, will it though? I won't stop you, I guess. Sweet. All right, so time to start. Just have to imagine this totally rad ramen. Wait, he is talking about ramen? Huh, I never thought about that. Is Japan like big into like traditional Eastern style soup or like Western style soup? Don't know. Just like the kind Sebastian used to make. Whatever that means. You talking about a crab? So what are we huh? here? Let's find out. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. If there's a faster way to do these, God, somebody please tell me. Sadly, this is a blind playthrough, so... Oh, I'm almost there! Info's pretty hard to come by. There it is! Easy peasy! We got... Five bowls? Alright. Where's this heading? I guess this is how the game handles certain side quests? Alright, remember the details. And anyway, we have times to have the soup and never tire of it. Alright. The broth used a whole chicken. As well as a hint of pork bone. That's an odd... Is that a normal combo? It sounds weird. Sardines and seaweed add some depth. But the real star is the love the chef pours into every bowl. Uh-huh. What's this? It's as if the fog enshrouding my memory has begun to lift. Seaweed and sardines in the broth. Add depth flavor. Most importantly... Uh, love! What's missing was the love. Of course the soup wouldn't taste right without it. Forgive me, Sebastian. It seems I forgot the most crucial ingredient of them all. Uh-huh. That's some real passion for food right there. It's just, it's just soup. What? The, I thought this whole stick was dispassion. Yeah, it's kind of out of character. Indeed. Although one must admit the uncharacteristic enthusiasm is endearing. You know, I feel like I did something good just now. And I want to do more. Who needs help? Right to the rescue. Random acts of kindness are going to have to wait. We have to complete the mission. Yeah. You're right you are, my guy. I just got some money. Yay, more friend points. Maybe I'll save a bit of those. I don't know if I want to invest in like the early game stuff. Because what, what if you find something that's really good later on, you know? So where the dump is the record shot, son of a gun! It's probably like right in front of me and I'm just like... Well, it'd probably be where it was in the first game too. Problem is, I don't even know where that is. I will I will admit though, after returning to uh, The World Ends With You 1, right? I guess it's just The World Ends With You. It's uh... It's made me realize how easy and like nice it is to navigate this type of town opposed to 
the style of before. But hey, watch this guy doing. Oh yeah, aren't we looking for that Ryoji guy? Or his little helper? Is this our guy, Ryoji's little helper? I don't remember. I kind of forgot the, everything that giant guy said. Something definitely feels off about him. Let's see what's on his mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, God! He's thinking about Dragon Ball Z! He's the transcendent Super Saiyan God level! <gasps> Man, I've had up to here with Ryoji. I know I just turn off my brain and do whatever he asks, but this is ridiculous! What are these puzzles even for? Why do I have to set them up? Oh. Plus, I want to kill him to show a little appreciation every once in a while. Oh. Just think about it, it ticks me off. A third. Oh. That diatribe left little room for doubt. I'm certain this is him. Yeesh. Bit of a downer, isn't he? Dude, aren't you friends with Rindo? Like, come on. Like, uh... <laughs> listen. At least Rindo wasn't, like, outward with his rage. Like, lighten up, dude. It's only a job. Hating your job? Pfft, come on. I think it's going to take a little more than chill out. <sighs> the air about him indicates some evil is at work within. What? Like he's possessed by a demon? I've entered the minds of many others, including some similar to this individual. Something sinister resides inside. Something sinister? Tis not dissimilar to the noise. <clears throat> Hang on. Could this be the noise problem? How do you say his name again? I know it's not Sus Kushi, but like if you squint, it kind it, uh, Susukichi was talking about? Oh dang, maybe! But is that something we can help with? Consider what Nagi did in my mind yesterday. In fact, she can hold her own against the noise. Yeah, I think she'll be fine. What if we had Nagi use her power? She get into the mine, maybe she can erase the noise that's taken root. Intriguing. And now we'll be doing this alone? Not if you sync up first. <gasps> Minamoto, balance the equations of your bodies and minds and your powers will increase exponentially. <laughs> Is she gonna make that noise the whole game? I'm, I'm trying to like you, girl. You're making it really hard. Lord Tomonami. <laughs> your points of view might even converge. What does that mean? That's you Zeptograms have the chance to create a multiplicative function. Otherwise, you're stuck playing with those third-rate Reapers. Who knows what that would entail? Now there's available I'd love to solve for. Hey, come back! We need to fight you! <sighs> I don't know how to make a mul make a multiple funk town or whatever he said. <laughs> we, should we just get back to the mission? Dunno. Guess we can try syncing um. up. Hey, Nagi. Do you know how to get in people's minds? Well, I first perform an initial observation of my intended target. So, you scan them. That's what we call it. You don't have to... Then I portal into their mind appears before me. Oh, that's never happened to me before. I guess we don't have that power. At which point, I simply let myself in. Almost sounds like breaking and entering. That's yeah, pretty much what we just did to the king. Uh, what if we both scan at the same time? Or if that counts as syncing up? Oh, I get it! I open the door and you walk through and then I go right after, dude! Actually, not really, but it sounds promising. That said, I must warn you, people's minds are not pleasant places to be. Yeah, I played Psychonauts, lady, I get it. Yeah, and having someone barge in your brain isn't great either. Trust me, I know. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Dive on in there, nah, girl. D dive? Let's jump into a pool, a big brain pool. Right, just like that. Are we opening a door or jumping into their pool? I don't get it. Now you can enter people's minds and exercise the noise that haunts them. Press X button near a possessed person. I'll tell you, I drop. Also, crap, we're still on hard mode. Don't know if I want to do that, but like, YOLO. Man, screw Ryoji. I'm never. I'm the real deal all the time. It never lets me do the good jobs. Let's tear it up. <laughs> I like that hand signal. Ugh. Oh god, what's this theme? We've got this in the back. Oh god, it's all red. Why the heck am I still putting up stickers all over town? Oh no. No, oh, it's not that tough. Oh god. He does not want to play nicely though. Oh! Yo, that combo though! Okay. It's a really long cooldown, but that damage was insane. It's just one wave? Oh no, there's multiples. <sighs> What's any of this even for? My job is useless. My entire occupation has no reason. 
How am I going to put that on a resume? Come on. So what'd you do in your previous occupation, sir? Uh, I put a bunch of stickers around. Makes you wish I had the job I was proud of. You know, wait, that's actually his inner struggle. Fair enough. I mean, honestly, that is a common thing. Having purpose in life. I mean, god dang. It sounds like silly, but like, dude, I love making Let's Play so much. I'm just so happy I found like... This is basically what I wanted to do as a little kid, and I'm just so thankful for that. Yo! Oh, wait. We got... We did all right. Did we evolve any pins? No. That didn't actually go anywhere. Wait, we only got a bronze? Man, bull crap. Oh, no. We, we get multiple. Okay. But we could get the gold. Oh, uh, do I try? Nah. I'll come back when I'm more damaged, I think. Whatever the the electric rook equivalent is of this game, maybe. Maybe I should strike out on my own. I don't need Yoji. In fact, I never needed him. I knew he'd be in trouble a minute and made him solve a bunch of riddles just to get his number. Yeah, this guy does not sound like he's fun to work for. I suddenly feel like all my worries just disappeared. Yeah, forget this stupid job. I'm out. I don't need to give a 10-week notice or whatever. The time to treat myself to a nice meal. With the money I don't have. Cry! I think he dropped something. Maybe a clue? Letterers will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Uh -huh. But wait, what do we have here? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I can't. I don't, I don't know, Korean. Trader Ryoji, handyman for hire. He appears to be a flyer advertising his services. Right. Is there a number? Oh, what else does it say? No job turned down, no matter the size or complexity. Serious inquiries only. New clients will be vetted? If interest, call via phone booth. <gasps> Tower records. Uh... Are phone booths still a thing? Never even use one. Same, actually. Me neither. Our numbers can be found by solving the puzzles scattered throughout Shibuya. What? Oh. Q1, Sinful Ramen. Q2, Backstreet Refreshments. Q3, A Hole in the Crossing. Q4, A Dog's Backside. Well, that one's actually really easy. A Yellow Building's Entrance. A Haven Covered in Green. This is complicated. That's the end of the list. So we have to solve his puzzles to prove ourselves to him, I guess? Mm -hmm. It strikes me as an overly cautious to put pros prospective customers through such trials. Seriously, I didn't think it'd be such a pain in the butt just trying to meet the guy. For real. Well, at least we're getting somewhere thanks to Nagi Sweet Mind Diving. <laughs> Man, that was one heck of a trip. It, is it always so volatile? More or less. It worked, though. That's what's important. So it's Nagi's true power. It's a lot different from Mars, that's for sure. But does that mean Minamoto has a new... Hmm. I guess he's not a Reaper anymore. Or is he? We haven't seen his wings. Morning, Swallow. Morning. Hey, Rin Dragon. Busy day yesterday? Oh, yeah. Kinda. <laughs> Dealing with a newcomer. That's always exciting. I guess. Rindo! You're such... You... Oh! He's such a... Oh, I guess. I guess I was emo, too, when I was his age. You don't sound excited, though. Her special power is really great, but she's kind of weird. I like her. Not really sure what to make of her. It's part of the new game you're playing, right? Is your party already full? We are. And honestly, I'm digging it. Everybody bounces off each other really well. Like, they're really... We got the tall, like, seasoned veteran. We got Rindo, who's just kind of all around her. Nagi, who's annoying. And Fred, who's the coolest guy ever, who I wish I was like. Can't really keep them on board if you got room. If you got room. Plus, special abilities are always good to have. Yeah, you're right. Just give her a chance. Come on, Rin, dude. Let's go track down those digits. Right. Also, what kind of number has... Yo, what is that? Cast a chain of the target. High chance of chaining. Aw, oh, sweet. That was quite an exhilarating experience. I guess she uh, liked it, like going in there with a the team. Maybe that's a new prospect for her. Gosh. But no, legit. The... I gotta hand it a square. They really did a good job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna try, yeah, that one for now. Why not? Mix it up a little bit. Oh, wait, is this the? It's actually the chain. I love those attacks from World Ends Ryu One. Dog. Sure, we don't like spam the field with chains, but it's still pretty cool. Can we use it multiple times? Maybe we level it up. All right. So we're gonna be kind of like a deficit as far as power goes, but you know. Wait, how do we get Hachiko? Crap. 
you know, it feels like we're taking a pretty big gamble here. Sure, it's okay to just do whatever we want like this. Like he said, right now we're getting swept. Oh god, that bad? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So if this will help us get ahead, then why not? Assuming that it does, in fact, help us get ahead. <sighs> but one cannot deny it remains a rather risky endeavor. Says the risky endeavor herself. Yeah, she can hold her own in a battle, but she's no mean Mamoto. And yeah, diving into people's minds is pretty impressive and all, but still, I just don't know. Rin, dude! Hating girls? Not cool! Give her a chance! Does something trouble you, Lord Rindo? You appear vexed. Uh, me? No, I'm good. She didn't hear me think that, did she? Oh god, maybe she did! We gotta be r nice around her. Very well, then. Um. <clears throat> Awkward tension! Let's keep things peppy, shall we? I got a question for you, boss. I see. Permit me. Ask a question in return, boss. Yeah, because you're older than us and because you took down those noise like a boss. So you're the boss, boss. But if you're our boss, does that mean you can fire us? Do you wish to tempt fate? <laughs> Yikes. Guess I better stay on my best behavior then. He's trying so hard. So question. What brings you to the UG, boss? Crazy taxi collision? Sudden lung explosion? I do not know this UG you speak of. Uh, where we are right now, it's, you know, the afterlife. Girl, you is dead, bro. I hate to break it to you. The afterlife, as in afterlife? As in no longer among the living? Uh, right. Yeah. You died. Dead, departed. Kaput. Pardon? Even I? Yep. Apparently we all died somewhere and then got sent here to play this game. Now to explain the unshakable feeling that I've been cast out of humanity. So in other words... Don't make it weird. I'm dead! Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I get it. Hey, it's a lot to take in, but you know... It sounds crazy, but think about it. We can't communicate with anyone but each other. And I don't feel very alive, so it just makes sense. I've left my life behind and nothing to show for it save these wretched pins. Uh, uh what pin? A rather nondescript one. It failed to pique my interest until Lord Tononami's voice actor sang its praises. Granted a few other Elastranix? Elastranix? What? Mentioned falling out at hard times after picking up pins of their own. Who was I to question his Radiance's commercial endorsement? Sounds like you got scammed, bruh! I got the same one? Do you think they're part of the game? Maybe we can quit if we just throw them away. <laughs> Giving up so soon, kid! <laughs> Do that every time. It's you! Go on! Pitch him and see what happens! <laughs> Why didn't you just tell us? Here's what I will tell you, kid! Uh-huh. These pins you've got are special. They're your play ID pins. Okay. We've sort of been over this. <laughs> but everyone had them. These things were all over Shibuya. And who do you think put them there in the first place? Normally, we give them out when people die. But if everyone's already got them, saves us the work later on. God dang it. Are they trying this, like, human brainwashing thing again? Oh, what a pain. Maybe it's not that simple. And then when they do kick the bucket, they can jump right into the game. Pretty slick, huh? Uh-huh. That's one heck of a marketing campaign. So you can go ahead and try and throw them away if you want. But you know what'll happen if you force quit in the middle of a game, don't you? <laughs> Your data gets corrupted. Even erased entirely sometimes. All right, don't lose the pin. My worst nightmare. What if you stop bugging now? What if you lose all your powers? <gasps> oh no. You'd be helpless against the hordes of the noise. Hypothetically speaking, of course. Cool. Got it. So what do you say? Gonna throw in the towel and throw your pins away? <laughs> well, keep them for now. A hole. <laughs> Attaboy! I knew you'd make the right choice, Kate! Yeah, <laughs> ever. Have I met 
someone so thoroughly loathsome. Guess we gotta tough it out for the whole week. Well, I'm sure you know you gotta do better than just tough it out. Unless you get stuck playing the game forever, that is. Yeah. Forever? Oh man, replay value is great and all, but since when was that part of the deal? There's no deal, kid. Life ain't fair. And the afterlife sure as heck ain't gonna be either. <laughs> you just gotta suck it up and play the game. You kids are playing the game, ain't you? Well, you see. Oh, I see, all right. I see everything. Oh, God. He can see through clothes. Uh, hey, you do what you gotta do to get ahead, am I right? Can't fault you for that. Wait, seriously? Of course, as long as you're trying to earn points. Who am I to judge? I'm not the god of the world or something. Let's just hope you earn enough before it's too late. <laughs> Alrighty then. Man, Jersey Shore of Rejects sure was annoying. Sounds like the uh, escape, nothing escapes the Reaper's gaze. Well, we got Snorty's approval. So let's say we finish what we started. Might as well. Look at Hachiko, I'm coming. Huh? Ain't doing half bad, let's see their next move. Where is he? Is he spying on us? Is he up there? Is he on top of the skyscraper? Oh Lord. All right, Punk, any thrill. You kids seem pretty chill today. Are you even taking the game seriously? Dead seriously. Shut up, friend. Right. Anyway, if you want to pass through here, you've got to win three consecutive chain battles at center. Got it. Hop to it. That is unreal. Like, that is just so easy. I don't even know how to comment that. It's just... Bro, consider it done. Oh, duh! Is that a shark? Never mind. That's a problem. Aw, oh, crap. I don't have the meteor anymore. Wait. This is my jam. I can't lose when my jam's playing. Get her, doggy. I don't know why I made the shark a girl, but there you have it. Y'all ain't ready for this. Oh, nut. It's another shark. Street sharks. No one will get that reference because that cartoon is old. Oh, watch that. Look at that angle. Look at that angle. Three. Frogs dead in record time, and we got the barbed wire. Oh yeah, it, it's oh, it kind of like locks him down, but you know he's already on the like the pavement. Didn't really do much. Yeah, I'm not too sold on that pin, but maybe I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because a lot of pins, like at first, are like, dude, why would I ever use this? But under the right circumstances, right, they're super strong. This one just seems strong out the gate, though. Look at that damage. That was what? 75 times 3? That's like this entire pin's worth of damage in one hit. I guess you have to charge for a pretty long time, though. Eh, it's like 75. So it's pretty good for AoE. We got it. Nagi looks extra tired when she's on cooldown. <laughs> Alright. So I, I, I'm saving my, like, uh, groove meter for, like, the very last wave because... Might as well. Yo! That's awesome! We've never seen it with Nagi's pin before. That's Pog! Alright. Punch him a little bit. Come on. All right. Our punches are not scaling into the late game, unfortunately. I mean, this is clearly not the late game. But you know what I mean. We might have to replace those. Look at that. Eight damage. Nagi's doing 72, bro. All right. We got to look for a replacement. Eventually. You know what? Creepy crystal. That's a new one. We, uh, you know, I thought I didn't have a lot to say about that, but I actually did. Anyway. Wow. Objective met. You kids get a gold star. Not really. Just go through, okay? Oh, he still gave us some running around money. My grandparents would always say that. Here you go, Johnny. Some running around money. And I was like, what is that? Oh, frick you! Well, if it isn't Rindy and Fred. Oh, hey, Kanan. Say, would you be Peach and move a sec? You're standing between me and my next clue. Uh, my bad. Say, what is this clue? <laughs> what are you up to anyway? Playing hooky again? Yeah, we have not. We don't think we'll ever go back to school, but not exactly. I, well, I guess. Has that Ryoji roped you in his, one of his sleazy little schemes? <gasps> no, what? <laughs> what gave you that idea? How do you know about Ryoji? Well, there goes that. Because you're acting pretty suspiciously for a couple of newbies. You aren't trying to cheat, are you? Yes, yes we are. Look not at me. 
<laughs> I like her ye old speak. You must be Rindy's latest recruit. That's Nagi? Pleased to meet you, Nagi. You've really been making a name for yourself with those crazy powers of yours. Uh-oh, she has? Of course, diving into people's minds and invading their privacy is pretty scandalous. That sounds a lot worse when you put it that way. Don't listen to her, Nagi. You're, you're an agent of justice. Did the ends justify the means, though? Uh, I mean, we just made a dude get a bowl of soup. Come on. To be fair, I definitely felt invaded. Too bad. I didn't make you a Vera Beauty while I had the chance. What? Really? Well, sure. A powerful psych user like her is awfully hard to come by. So you're saying you want someone like her on your team? Suddenly, Rin dude is... <laughs> he's really defensive. No, you can't have her. She's ours. Nin -nin -nin -boo -boo. Are you saying you don't? Rin dude here is just afraid of change. That's all. She's an outsider. Oh, It took some cajoling, but... I finally got him to see the potential I saw in our old boss. Don't call her old friend, you moron! My, my. Sounds like you've got an eye for talent. Not just one. I've got two eyes for talent. I ain't no pirate. Anyway, it seems like you don't want to tell me today's secret plan, so I won't push it. Sorry. Boss told me I can't. But if anything happens to my team, I'll be coming for you. Coming to do what? Shut up, you <laughs> teach you boys a lesson. And here I thought you two were just a couple innocent little cuties. Maybe I thought wrong. I mean, I think we're kind of cute. Uh, keep up the confidence. Ciao. <laughs> Indirectly called Rindo cute. He's just like, ah, Fred speaks his mind. It's just me or was Kanan kind of terrifying? No, not at all. Do you think she's always like that? Fake for her teammate sick. And her own? I hope not. Well, hey, look on the bright side. How Rival's kind of motivating. What blithe optimism. <laughs> well, hang on. Was that a chuckle I just heard? She's imitating show. Oh, no. I, I most certainly was not. Maybe Fred's right. All the players are our rivals. Get out of here. That's unfortunately how it seems. I heard it with my own ears. Boss, are you going to <laughs> Can we really keep up with the competition? Perhaps you ought to have your hearing checked. Hmm. Dude, we got this bullcrap. Just keep punching stuff, Rindo. What the? Rindo! What is this? Huh? We saw no, this no, 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 no. This can't be happening. Am I dead? Stay with me, buddy. Let Rindo! Rindo! Great. Another vision. Same one as yesterday, too. Is it supposed to be the future or something? What if it's today? What if it's not today? Uh, well... That's ominous. I have the... And that appeared just after we talked to Kanon. Ah... Uh, anyway. Who gives a dump? Starving. Let's go. Come on. I want that achievement. Hey there. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Oh man, she's so hungry. Let's get you a fishy sandwich. Oh, she likes that. What about this? Oh, snap. <laughs> She's firing her laser. All right, let's get some fries. I heard if you order, or no, I think I remember from the, uh, what's it called? The chart, right? If we order one of everything, we might unlock this lady as a, uh, like, thing on the chart. I could be wrong, though. Y'all, y'all be talking with your mouth open. This, or we trying to eat? Dang good. Yes, yes, the secret menu acquired. Now I can order animal style. What the frick is that? An extra special wagyu sandwich? That actually sounds good. Commemorating the thirtieth anniversary, now enjoys a permanent spot in the menu. Can you conquer this behemoth burger? He's gonna drop a meteor on my plate. All right, Rindude is not a fan. He really likes it. That's thirty dollars, and yo, we ain't got that kind of money. Also, we don't even have that much like room in our stomach. All right, at least now I know that is how that actually works. Oh wait, Hachiko, what the dump am I doing? <laughs> He's just so worth keeping an eye on. Okay, what? I like to imagine he's just jumping from skyscraper to skyscraper, like not even with his sykes. He's just jumping. 
with his raw, like, normal strength to, like, spy on us. That would be funny. Lord Rindo. Also very unnecessary. Yeah, what's up? <gasps> Who would dare disagree? How'd you go like that? This appears to be quite literally a sign from Ryuji. Sir sure does. Looks like some kind of quiz. Ryuji sure got a lot of time on his hands for a guy who's in trouble or whatever. The question is, which of the following isn't on the menu at Hachiko Cafe? Easy peasy, just look, it, look up. it up. Menu isn't on their site. Really? That means we have to go? Okay then, which one is it? I, I don't know. Milk tea? I've never been to this restaurant. I can't even back out of this. Are you trolling? Hachiko Cafe. Well, if a cafe doesn't have effing coffee, they are on crack. I said that like a middle schooler. You need to calm down. You are on crack, mister. Any middle schoolers relate? I don't Okay. Ice cream float. That doesn't really suit a cafe. I don't know. I'm going to pick that. That's more of a McDonald's thing. Or Justice Burger, excuse me. Do they have ice cream floats? Um, perhaps or perhaps not. Can't remember. My mind's totally blank. Surprise, surprise. Let's see if we can find the answer somewhere. Okay. We go to Hachiko Cafe then. Boop, 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 boop. Excuse me. Coming through. Sorry, I'm a ghost. Let me through. Welcome. Uh, all right. I... Oh, that looks so good. And that. Oh, God. Why am I always hungry and I'm broken? They do you? have ice cream floats. What the? Okay, they don't have they don't have milk tea. Got it. Bye now. Sorry, lady. Changed my mind. Oh, which of the following is in the cafe? That would be the milk tea. Mm -hmm. They gotta get on that bubble off, man. I don't think they served milk tea. Perhaps. While I am not wholly certain, I believe that is correct. Oh yeah, I just remembered because we walked over there four minutes ago. I tried to order that once, but they told me they didn't have it. Break. So you use that power reminder yourself from time to time. Come on, that would never work. Wait, does that work? Anyway, I'm putting that down as our answer. And the result? We got it. It says one of the digits is nine. Beautiful. Good work, team. They really are a nice team. Is Minamoto helping? Mr. Number Fetish just ain't contributing? He could probably crack this equation like instantly. I'm starting to think he's all talk. Hey, I want to go through here. It looks funny. What's up, dude? Uh. Let us through. After I do what I do, I say my mission for you today is kill a shark? Wait, is that taboo noise? Aw, oh, dump. How's that going to work? Defeat these noise. Good luck. Bunch of last place losers going to need it. I got this. Hopefully. Let's do it. That's what I like to hear. Get ready. It's Shug Week, baby! All right. Hopefully, hopefully it's not a taboo. Okay, it's not. Dude, that's easy street. Are you for real? Easy. Oh crap. No, no, get off her. Get off her. Crap, 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 crap. Well, so much for that. No, my God. They're doing so much damage. Jesus Christ. Okay, lesson learned. Protect Nagi at all costs. Which should always be the game plan, but you know. Okay, that was a little dicey, but as usual, we exterminated. Stylish beam. Let's check that out. I want to see that on me. Oh, that might be a beam attack. So it's probably only for square. Not bad for a bunch of noobs. Nobody says that anymore. We say scrubs nowadays. Thunder lightning. Someone bolts. Uh-oh. Bolts of lightning. Yeah, that sounds like the pin I'm thinking of. All right. Tower records. Oh, sweet. Yes! Record shop! Finally! My complaining can finally thief. Don't worry. I'll find something else to complain about. Oh, God. This is creepy. Keep up the good work. At least he's a fan. It's not all that bad. Oh. Hey there, dude. Yo, this is cool. Time bomb. That reminds me of this, like, this chip in Battle Network. Is that why I like this franchise so much? Because this is so similar to Battle Network. Which party member could I see rocking this? Whatever feels right. I like this shirt. I would unironically wear that shirt. Dude! They should make shirts from the World Ends for You. It's kind of kind of overpriced though. Oh well. Maybe the record shop's over here. I completely forgot our objective. I know it's like to find like the numbers and all, but man, <laughs> I'm just so excited dorking around town. Listen, my real life city, boy oh boy, that crap is scary. But this Shibuya, I mean, dude, can't get robbed if you're dead. Oh snap! I found a barcode. Is that a? Oh, it is a barcode. 
How about that? Scan it, dude. What's it say? It says something, all right. Tis supposedly simple. It's a no-brainer. We all know the answer. Or at least we should. Huh? Here it goes. Which is the name of the handyman you're trying to reach? What? <laughs> it's not... It's not Rougy. Mm. Ryoji. Duh. Uh, right. Sounds right to me. Okay, our answer is Ryoji. Bingo. One of the digits is seven. It would have been unspeakably embarrassing to forget his name, of all right. things. Yeah, it'd be pretty awkward if he found out. <laughs> Man, we're so good at finding clues. We should be detectives or something. I don't know about that. Anyway, time to spend all my money. Hello. Aw. All right. I want to see if they... What the heck? Yo. All right. I'm just super curious if this changes the uh the menu music ma'am i'm bad to propose give me a second all right after selling a majority of my spares we got thirty-four thousand yen not bad let's see what we get can we just like buy out the whole store pretty sure we can i'm getting this one i like it and i like this one i like it i'm liking this one i like it i'm gonna look like a complete idiot if this doesn't actually do what i think it does will do anyway if it doesn't change the menu music, I'm gonna scream. Please, please work. All right, that one's a keeper. Yeah, nice and simple, no lyrics. I'm digging it. Wait, what the heck is graffiti? Are we mess express yourself with graffiti? Oh, it has lyrics. They're in Japanese, it's fun to talk over. All right, you're in street art through your adventure. Nice. So is this like achievements and stuff? Yeah, it is, okay. This is a cool concept. God, this is so on brand for the franchise. I love this so much. What's this one for doing? Oh, involve a psych? All right. Nice. There's so many little fun, like, systems in this, dude. It's rad. Anyway, this episode, probably a little light on content. We did the food. We did the soup quest. So that was pretty intense. Outside of that, though, I don't know, man. It was just a lot of getting lost in the city and having a blast. Anyways, in the next episode of Neo, The World Ends With You, we're going to continue trying to track down all these mother effing numbers and stop getting distracted by finding the record store because we already found it and I bought it out. Yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Love y'all so much. Thank you for supporting this series. I love this game and I love talking a lot if you couldn't tell. Anyways, see you guys next time, all right? Bye.